the Woods and May here. We're so excited. We have a new uh, soaps that came in. We ordered four of them. It's the new cold brew cleanse. So we're really excited to bring that to you. We're going to see how it lathers up, how it cleans up, how it feels. Apparently it also exfoliates, which I'm excited for because one of my favorite bars of soaps is the pine tar. So let's open it up. This is, it just came in the mail. We just saw it. Let's open one of these up. Strong. So there's two of them. Um, so the packaging mm, it smells really good. I'll tell you what it smells like in a second. But there's the cold brew. It has what does it say? Sorry, let me check. Oh, it's the fire department coffee. It's the coffee from the fire department. So I assume they use the coffee beans too. If you didn't know, you can order the package that comes with the coffee mug and then the coffee beans as well. All the other stuff is the same, made in the United States. Smell like the Squatch. Recycle, please recycle. And then um, we'll go over all the other stuff. Let's open the other one. It's the same thing, but. This one's a little dented. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Uh, and here's the other ones. All the other ones are fine. This one's a little dented. So yeah, let's add these into the collection we'll use this one right here so we got our collection which we're doing we're doing more reviews right now um we have our area 51 soap we have our nautical sage our pine tar and then we have some of these bad boys too which we'll add to this collection in our nice cigar box um so let's check this soap out um here's the story if you want to check it out just in general there's snoop our dog let's see if he likes it he's smelling the bag so i assume he likes it but it's a five ounce bar yeah. Mm. All right. Before I read the ingredients or anything, because I haven't uh, read the ingredients at all, it has a light to medium roasting smell of coffee with vanilla. So it's, it smells almost like a vanilla, like a French vanilla kind of. It smells really good. I'm gonna do a sniff. Mm, it's interesting, good. right? Mm -hmm. It almost has like a. Like when I first smelled it, like I could smell it through the bag. You know how eggnog smells? Like it has like a kind of like an eggnog. -ing. That's not to like turn you off. That's just right away my mind, like that cinnamon, that French vanilla with that rose smell. So the ingredients um, are saponified oils of olive, sustainable palm, coconut oil, which is mainly what they use in all their soaps, lye, shea butter, Natural fragrance, which I want to look up what the natural fragrance are, because sometimes those are key in like the scents that come out, obviously. Kaolin clay, which they add to a lot of their soaps, uh, salt, and coffee. So pretty straightforward, nothing crazy. Let's open this up. Alright, got the stickers falling everywhere. So here's from the side. So very brownish looking soap it has those little chunks of coffee beans it kind of kind of like looks like almost like oreos that's just what i think of um it has like a sweet smell to it a sweet smoothness with all those scents that i've already described let's um get it out of the box you can see it up close cool oddly cut that's all good though and if you look on the side so again with some of the soaps when during the saponification process when you cut them i assume the separation is the natural separation it kind of reminds me of the gold moss scrub because oftentimes when you shower with it like that's just kind of what happens to the soap so yeah has that coffee coffee vanilla forwardness to it and let's taste it it doesn't really taste like anything. <laughs> She's shaking her head back there. <laughs> I had to do it last time. Last time some of you commented <laughs> before. It it like doesn't taste. It doesn't taste like how it smells. So don't don't try that ever. Um, but it doesn't have a bad taste to it. So I don't know if some of you think that. Like if i you know I don't I never had this growing up where like the whole saying it's like wash your mouth out with soap. Like I never had to do that. But if the, if I ever did have to do it, it'd probably be with this soap because. You know, coffee. <laughs> but 
But it smells good. Let's take it in a shower. We're going to put it again. So um, we were in mid between another review, but always clean your soap savers. I already did. I washed it off. I, I rinsed it, but we're going to put it on our soap saver. And if you also notice, um, it's a sturdy brick. A lot of y'all like might be like interested in like the sturdiness, but it's a very sturdy brick. I'm excited to shower with it. I think overall right now from the scents, it has like a sweeter, a sweeter smooth scent to it than anything else. So we'll see how it stacks up to the other soaps and how it lathers up. We'll see you in a second, the woods in May. Let's get it. All right, so before we get started, I wanna post one of the promos for the Christmas. It's a perfect gift. These soaps in general are a perfect gift for you to get. Um, for your family, for your dad, your brother, your uncle, nephew, whatever, whatever it is, it's a perfect gift, so check it out. Hit him with the goods, Doc. Dr. Squatch makes the perfect holiday stocking stuffers for Pop Pops, husbands, uncles, brothers, and most importantly, you. With scents like pine tar, bay rum, and cedar citrus, your husband's gonna smell so good, there might just be another stocking over the fire next year. Ooh. <laughs> so we're back, we're gonna see how this bar is so works and lathers up and the experience in general so this is their new cold brew cleanse so let's check this out the woods are made here um all right so it hasn't been wet but you can see it pretty cool you can see the coffee beans right in there so let's check it out one second so let's see how it starts lathering up so here's the bar of soap Brand new. So, so far, mm, has a very, so I just want to touch the lather out. Lathering up great. It has a great lather. It has a smooth feel to it. Mm. So now that the bar of soap is actually, remember at the beginning I was saying it's a bit more sweeter? Now I'm actually, the more I rub on my body, I'm actually getting that coffee smell. Mmm. Smell that real quick. That's like a nice brewing coffee. Like if you're a coffee lover, so I drink coffee pretty much most mornings. So if you like coffee, all right. I'm rubbing it more to see. Okay. So it has a light exfoliation with the coffee beans. Let's see if we can wash that real quick. So, um, I think you can see it. If you look from like this side, you see the coffee beans. So the coffee beans are actually exfoliating. Mm. So yeah, what I'm smelling, overall it's not too strong of a scent, but you can smell it. It's not gonna fill up your whole shower. It's a lighter smell than let's say the Area 51 bar soap or even the Crisp IPA is a little bit stronger. But I feel like this, Bar soap might stay in your skin a little bit. We'll see how that is. I'll, um, so what I'm going to do is with other bars of soap, I've been taking a little bit longer with the reviews. This one's I'm going to cut it short, and then in the comments or in my information section, I'm going to post how long does this bar of soap last, and then also more details on how it lasts and how it feels on my skin. Because after the shower is also important because, you know, how does it make you feel? Does it make your skin feel moisturized? Um, does it smell really good? How does it smell? How does it feel overall? So, yeah, it has a nice vanilla, um, very sweet scent. And uh, my wife actually said it's like almost like a like a coffee can, like a candle, right? It's like one of the sweet candle smelling when you first smell it. So it's on the sweeter end. It's not as let's say woodsy or more masculine than like pine tar right but it has a good smell so let's uh real quick i'm going to rinse this off and i'm going to do a face check in a second so be right back all right so we're going to do a, a face check real quick so it feels nice it smells nice too it's not a strong scent like i was saying i can feel the coffee beans kind of coming off it's a really nice song so it's a good addition, so, so give me one second, I'm going to wash this off. I can feel it lathering up. It feels nice on the skin, direct contact with the bar, with the with the coffee beans, it feels so nice. So like if you have some skin problems, it feels really nice to just rub it on your face. So this is the 
coffee cold brew cleanse. And now that I'm like smelling it, that the name is cold brew, it does have that cold brew scent. Like if you're a coffee drinker and you drink cold brews, this is what it's gonna smell like. This is probably like a French vanilla cold brew almost. But this is a perfect bar of soap. It's like a holiday candle-like scent. So if you're looking for something in a, a different bar of soap, and let's say you have a family member that drinks coffee a lot and loves coffee, this is gonna be a nice craft coffee bar of soap that you can get. Um, so check out their holiday bundles right now before time runs out. And I'm also a Dr. Squatch affiliate. I'm an ambassador for them. So if you wanna try out the bar of soap and get an additional 15% off, you can use my affiliate code, which is Filippo Bustamante 15 And they have some awesome deals anyway, so check that out. Regardless, leave a thumbs up, leave a uh, thumbs down, whatever you like. I appreciate any feedback. And also leave a comment down below. Are you excited to try, try this bar of soap? Are you excited to try Dr. Scoach? Squatch. <laughs> if you have any questions, feel free to reach me out. You can also see me at twitch.tv, The Woods in May. I'm playing Modern Warfare all the time, so if you want to check that and say what's up, Come on by. Well, let's get it. Look good, feel good, do good. I'm going to go back to my shower. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Be sure to check down below for more information on how long this bar of soap lasts. I'll see you next time. Peace out. She's like cold coffee in the morning. I'm drunk of last night's whiskey and coke. She'll